this is sort of paraphrasing um, Abraham Lincoln. And he said, this is sort of like a, I feel like a child who has uh, stubbed their toe in the middle of the night. Um, it, I'm too old to cry, and it hurts too much to laugh. So that's kind of how I feel right now. Um, oh, thank you. Certainly, certainly, I want to start by saying that I, I wish uh, Bill, Lay, Bill Lee all the success in the world, and I'll support him as governor, and we all need to do so, and to make sure that our great state continues to move forward. Uh, first and foremost, um, I want to thank Ann, my wife. Um, yeah. so, uh, for her never failing love and support and for crisscrossing the state with me um, over these past uh, two years. And I want to thank her in particular for organizing the Core 54 group that uh, worked with women voters. And, you know, if you think this is hard on me, um, you know, I remember one of the great things that was said about Ann in 07 when I first ran for mayor was, um, you never want to get into a competition with her where they keep score. Um, she, this is, she's very competitive. I also want to thank my uh, wonderful children, uh, Rasco. Rasco, Francis, and Wallen, and my beautiful daughter-in-law, Caroline. For, uh, this campaign was truly a family affair, and it really brought us together, and it was a lot of fun. And as I reflect on this, and as some of you reflect upon whether you'll ever pursue a political career, don't talk to me tonight about it, talk to me in another week or so. <laughs> but I would say um, people always ask about what, the, what a strain it is on the family. I think it was just the opposite for us. Um, I also want to thank my three grandchildren. Um, even, <laughs> even if none of them are awake right now, um, all three, all three, uh, came along during this campaign. Uh, Davis came at the very beginning and Foster and Mitchell came eight days ago at the end uh, and they will forever be a big part of my memories of this race. Um, I want to say thank you uh, to a great human being, a great friend and somebody who um, my career would not be where it is without her, uh, Courtney Wheeler for heading my campaign. <laughs> Uh, Courtney um, and, and the staff gave everything they had um, seven days a week in every corner of the state. They were tireless in their dedication. Uh, my brother George is here with us today from Massachusetts. George is best known as my brother who had season tickets to the Red Sox. Um, but he also mentioned to me today when I came home from traveling around the state today that um, He'd been spending time at headquarters, and I was so lucky to have people who didn't leave anything on the field, so thank you for that. I also want to thank all the elected officials who, uh, who leaned in to support me, from our great uh, Congressman Jim Cooper, <laughs> Steve, Steve Cohen, um, <laughs> former Congressman Lincoln Davis, uh, former Congressman Bob Clement, uh, you know, one of the great things again about politics when you look at things and decide what you want to do with your life, people talk about how acrimonious it can be. Bob and I ran against each other at one point, you might remember, in 07, and Bob couldn't have been a better friend and a better supporter throughout this process and one of the highlights of this was getting to know him and, 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 and building a friendship. I want to thank Darren Jernigan, Brenda Gilmore, John Ray Clemens, uh, State Senator Jeff Yarborough, um, Andy Burke and Chattanooga, Madeline Rojero in Knoxville, the plumbers and the pipe fitters who were the first union to get behind me and all the other unions and members of the labor movement who supported me. Um, thank, you to all, thank you to all the educators, the veterans, the clergy, especially Bishop Maynard, uh, Pastor Linward Dillard, who, along with Emmy Lou Harris, um, 
narrated uh, uh, ads for me, and you know, it always hurts my feelings when the ads where I don't appear in and somebody else narrates them receives the best reception, uh, <laughs> but that's true. And thank you to all those folks for what they do for um, our young people, our country, and our state. I want to say thank you to Mike Kerb and a group of Republicans who uh, got behind this campaign very publicly. That was not easy to do, but they did it. I want to th say thank you to Calvin Anderson, um, one of the... There you have it, Carl Dean giving his concession speech. It's never easy, no matter what side of the aisle you're on, to have to give a speech like that.